trip to Spain is not complete without lots and lots of tapas. I'm Vivian Bugnani here at Maison Rincón de la Cava in Madrid, Spain. So let's go behind the burger and taste it all. So I'm here with my friend, Dara Palker. We've been running around Spain for the whole week. And right now we have an array of amazing Madrileños tapas in front of us. And the word tapas comes from the Spanish word tapar, which means to cover. And what it used to be is that people would go into a bar and, you know, leave their drink and the owner would cover it with a plate so they wouldn't get any flies in it. And they started putting food on the plate to try and encourage people to drink more. It was an important strategy for them to build their businesses. There are three different types of tapas to get. There's un pincho, which is a mouthful. Un tapa, which is a saucer full, and then un ración, which is enough for two to share. So I think we have to start with this one. I Your love to favorite. share. This is my favorite. So I love jamón ibérico, and I'm not just going to have one piece because that's not going to do the job. You just you, can't. You cannot come to Spain without a, having jamón ibérico. It comes from the American pig, and that is actually filled, fed on acorns, and that's what makes it so incredibly. Um, the meat is just very juicy. It's a little bit fatty. It's that mixture of salt and fat and sweetness that comes from pigs that have been feeding on acorns their whole lives. So I'll bring you a pepper. I love these peppers. These are incredibly sweet, salty, and delicious. But the funniest thing about these peppers, Divya, is that in every batch, there's one that's incredibly spicy. And you uh -oh. never know who's going to get the scary spicy one. Well, I didn't get the scary spicy one, which is good, because I skipped the gene for spicy food. I can't really eat it. And this has a lot of sea salt mm. on it, and it enhances the flavor of the pepper a lot, the sea salt. And I'm actually going to dig into one of your favorites, which is the tortilla. Mm. So Dara loves tortilla. She's always complaining that in New York you cannot get good tortillas like you get in Spain. So we had to come all the way to Spain for her to eat them every day. It's a really <laughs> rustic, homey family dish that you can find at every tapas bar here. But finding a really well-made one in New York is tough. And here, it's like a dime a dozen. A dime a dozen. It's so easy. So it's basically eggs and potatoes. And it's cooked really traditionally, just like an omelet. Um, it's delicious. They make sandwiches out of these. You can have it breakfast, noon, and night. And it's also a great late-night snack as well. So. One of my favorites are the anchovies that are fried, and I love them with a little bit of lemon squeeze on top of them. Hit me. I will. Probably not her favorite food, but one of my favorites. Mm. They are so crispy and salty and meaty at the same time. And they're really not very fishy. I think sometimes when you all. think of anchovies, you think they're going to be incredibly fishy. Not so these. They're really actually very sweet. So another one of your favorites, um, Dara loves mushrooms. I have never met a mushroom I didn't like. These are a mix of mushrooms, and they're cooked really simply with just oil and some garlic. There are a few peppers thrown in here as well. And what makes them so delicious is that they have a little bit of red pepper in them, so it's got a little bit of spice that hits your palate. You're right. It's a phenomenal tapa, really quick and easy to make, but the key is that you use Spanish olive oil, which is really special. It has that amazing Spanish olive flavor to it. And what they do with this is they also use Spanish garlic, ahillo. Oh, I'm getting the garlic right now. <laughs> I know. Definitely a dish Don't try and kiss me later. <laughs> only have with someone else who's sharing it with you. No meal is complete in Spain without queso, which means cheese. And they are famous for their manchego cheese. And I haven't met a cheese that didn't like me and that I didn't like. <laughs> so I love all kinds of cheese. And this manchego has a lot of flavor. Really delicious. And you know, it's very crumbly. It's very crumbly. And you realize the difference between really good manchego and your just run-of-the-mill supermarket manchego. There is a difference. And talk to your cheesemonger at home because you can find amazingly different varieties of manchego cheese. Here we're obviously having one of the best because we're here in Spain. We're going to tell you at a drink that people order here 